Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to another collaboration video that is just nothing but fun. This is the 12 Days of Cookies and this is my contribution. It's hosted by CNC Farm. I got a, I got a request to do this and I was super excited. And then the weirdest thing was I was trying to figure out what cookie can I do for this collaboration and a friend of mine had a couple bags of these and she didn't want these. She had a dark chocolate and these. She goes, here, you want these? I said, sure. So I was thinking about what kind of um, cookie I would make. And then I thought, you know, I'll use these chocolate chips that she gave me. And lo and behold, you know, on the back, there's the recipe for the original Nestle Toll House cookies. And it dawned on me that in all my years of baking and cooking and cookie making and all that, I have never once made the original Tull House cookie recipe. So that's what I'm going to be doing for my contribution for this collaboration. And I do want to remind you guys, in the description is the list of all the participants, the dates that they'll be doing. It's for the for 12 days straight. You're going to get a whole bunch of great cookie uh, videos. And make sure that you go and check on those uh, channels, uh, like and subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get the announcement for when they're going to put their video up. And it's just fun. Like, who doesn't love cookies? And I know that Brian's pretty excited because I made he made me promise that he could do a taste test. And that's not really a taste test. He knows he's going to like them because he loves cookies. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and gather all my supplies and get everything ready from the recipe right here on the back of the Nestle Toll House Cookie Semi-Sweet Morsels Chocolate Chips Bag. So I'll be back to you as soon as I have everything gathered. I've got all my ingredients gathered. Now I'm going to go through these ingredients with you. And the first thing I have is two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and then one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. And I've got those together in that little container. And then one cup of butter softened. So I cut this, put it in the microwave just to soften. It's not melted, it's just softened. I put my finger in there, it'll kind of squish. So there, it's perfectly melted. And then, what else do we have? Oh, a three-quarters cup of granulated regular white sugar and a packed three-quarters cup of brown sugar. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and that's just about what I have left in my little Watkins vanilla. I love Watkins, anyway. Uh, but I have about a teaspoon left in there. Two large eggs, which I have here. And two cups, two full cups of those Nestle uh, chocolate chip semi-sweet chocolate morsels and a cup of chopped nuts. I have that here. So I have all my ingredients gathered and now I'm going to put everything together so that we can go to the next step which is putting things together. All right let's try it from here. I had to try a new tripod because my other one broke and it wouldn't hold my phone anymore. I've used it so much. All right so the instructions are pretty simple. The first thing it says is to preheat the oven to 375, which I have done. And then in a small bowl, combine the flour, baking soda, and salt. So that would be the flour. There's my baking soda and salt. Now I'm just going to mix this in. Okay. There we go. Get that all nicely blended. And then in a large mixing bowl, which is this, we're going to beat the butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, and vanilla extract until creamy. Okay, so this looks well mixed. So, the butter, I'm going to beat the butter, I'm reading this as we go, uh, granulated sugar, brown sugar, and vanilla extract. There we go. Put the butter in there. The granulated sugar and the brown sugar and the vanilla extract. I want to make sure I don't miss a thing for you guys. It's about a teaspoon is what I have in here, so I'm just going to pour this little bottle in there. There. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Uh, teaspoon of that. And we're going to beat that in this bowl until creamy. Okay. So I'm going to show you. There we go. So I'm going to let that go until creamy. I'm not turn it up a notch. Ooh, I can smell the vanilla. It smells so good. All right, we'll let that go for just a second, and I'll bring you back as soon as that is perfectly creamy. All right, that looks great. And now it says to add the eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition. So I'm just going to crack this egg right here and add it. We'll let that beat. 
this and then that looks good. Next in this one. So that's that. Now I'm going to let those beat until uh, it's ready to add the flour. So that's looking perfect. Now I can't hold the camera and I might this new tripod doesn't bend down far enough. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the flour. Okay, so I've got my flour here. I'm going to go ahead and it says gradually add in the flour. So we're just going to gradually add that in. Let it mix nice. It's actually, you know, cookies are a really easy thing to make and they actually don't take that long once you get all your ingredients together. So we're going to add in this flour and then we add in the morsels and the nuts. And then simply drop them into an ungreased baking sheet by rounded tablespoons and bake for 9 to 11 minutes until golden brown. Woohoo, gotta love a good cookie. And the 12 Days of Cookie collaboration is just fun. There you go, let me see. How's that look? How are we looking? Looking good. Alright. I'm going to set you down while I add the rest. That get mixed up, looking good. I love my KitchenAid mixer, I gotta tell you. It's the best. All right, so that looks good. Take a look. Perfect. Now we're gonna do, are you getting dizzy? <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to add the nuts, and we're just going to let that mix. And I want to tell you, I've got a weird-looking uh, beater uh, paddle on there. And I'll show you what makes it special. That looks perfect. Okay, see that? Looks just right. So I'm going to stop it there. And I'm going to show you guys my beater paddle, because it's awesome. So this is, you can get these, and I think... Uh, a couple people said, I think I added it to my Amazon store uh, affiliate link. I'll look, and if I can find it, I'll try to add the actual link directly to this, because I know that you guys like that. But this is a special kind of beater head, or what do you call it, a paddle. And the reason I like it, let me get all this off here and I'll show you. And then we're just going to scoop these on the tray, on the cookie sheet, and let them bake. But let me show you. Let me show you. This is actually really cool. Come on. There we go. I can't get it off because there's still too much cookie dough. So let me get all the cookie dough off, and then I'll come back and show you this cool paddle. All right, here, here it is. Here we go. So this is a special kind, and you can get them with different, like there's one that's got a silicone edge up the side, and then there's, uh, like it's solid along here, and then it's not here. And the reason this is cool is because if you're adding chunks to something like the chocolate chips or the nuts having one of these paddles let me see if i can clean it off for you so you can really see it all right having one of these paddles you can see how this has little wings i'll just move that right there see how it's got these little silicone wings on there you see that so when this goes around the chocolate chips and the nuts go right through there and it kind of rotates them so they're really evenly mixed it doesn't just grab them all and move it around so now i'm going to clean this off and get everything set up to put this on the cookie sheet and get it in the oven. I want to give you a little better look at that paddle, what I'm talking about. You see how it's got those little wings on it? And if I have this in my, I will try to put the link directly to this product um, and make sure that it fits the kind of KitchenAid you have. But that is genius. I love it. It's such a good thing. Oops. <laughs> Just dropped me some cookie dough. It's all right. Okay. Now what we're going to do, see how it looks? So yummy. Now, I'm just going to take my little scooper, and you do this by tablespoonfuls, but I like to use my little scooper because then they're all uniform, and put them out on my little cookie sheet here. There we go. That's going to make a nice big cookie. I know Brian's going to be happy about this because I have not made cookies in a while. And you know what? If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. I have kind of a variety of content from food preservation, to crafting, to traveling, just, you know, all kinds of stuff. So if you like that kind of thing, 
I appreciate it if you'd stick around and of course give me a little like and subscribe and do that to all the channels that are putting in the effort to participate in this and give these great cookie recipes to you because it's all good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do four more. Ooh. So yummy. Okay. One more here. Two more. And then I'll put these in the oven for 9 to 11 minutes. These are probably going to be 11 minute ones because they are pretty going to be pretty big cookies. All right. There they go. Cookies ready for the oven. I'm going to put them in for 9 to 11 minutes, and I will bring you back when they're done. I just got the first batch out, and these were exactly 11 minutes, but they look perfect. Oh, there's my timer. Hang on. There we go. They look just perfect, don't they? So I'm going to set these on my rack and let them cool while I put the rest of the batch in. And once I have all of them baked, I'll come back because these should be cool enough for Brian to do a taste test. All right, it made four dozen Toll House cookies. Don't those look good? And I am going to put a link. Um, I'm not going to type it out for a printable, but I'm going to put the link over to the Nestle um, site where this recipe is. And it's kind of cool because it tells the history and why this, uh, where this recipe came from. And it goes in, there was a gal named Ruth Wakefield who worked at the Toll House Restaurant in Whitman, Mass. Um, I don't remember when, it was like a long time ago. But anyway, and it tells about how she was making cookies and just decided to put some chocolate chunks in it. And that's where this cookie recipe came from. But let's just see what Brian thinks about it. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I went to call you. and you I'm are, here. You're already here. All right, these are Toll House cookies. Yes, I know. You want to try them? Sure. So good. Let's do a little taste test. Like I told everybody, you love cookies. You eat cookies anyway. These are terrible. They're not. <laughs> they're not. They're, really, they're really good, huh? Mm. I have never made Toll House cookies. I've made chocolate chip, all different kinds, but not this this Toll House cookie recipe. Mm. Super famous recipe. I have never made it. Where'd the recipe come from? On the back of the bag that Shalea gave us of chocolate chip cookies. Of oh. chocolate chips. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right. Hey, guess what? Tomorrow's our 41st oh my anniversary. <laughs> so what's the secret you to Imagine being... <laughs> being married to me for 41 years? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. So there you go. I am actually filming this in, or videotaping this in October. So our, our anniversary is not in December, but that's when you will see this recipe. It is in October, and we have been married 41 years tomorrow. Mind-blowing. Anyway, uh, yeah, the secret is a good cookie. So, um... As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.